Hey everyone, or as they say in Luca, what's wrong with you stupido? I'm Inigo, and I'm going to show you guys how to recreate the Trenete al Pesto from the Pixar movie Luca. I like Pixar. I like Italian food. And I especially love recipes that are presented to me in adorable ways by my favorite characters, like this Instagram post by Pixar. It shares Luca's director, Enrico Casarosa's The Green Recipe for Trenete al Pesto. I love the movie Luca, and when I saw that pesto pasta they served, I just knew I had to go and make it someday. I went out, put on some Luna, and got myself some potatoes and green beans which I didn't have in my fridge. I'm excited to see what this tastes like, because although I've tried pesto before several times, I've never had a pesto pasta with green beans and potatoes, and I've also never pounded it in a mortar and pestle. Now, there are a few ingredients that I don't have for this, pecorino and trenete pasta which I'll be replacing with some good old parmesan and linguine. I know some Italians might get really pissed off, but quality ingredients for Italian food are difficult to come by and pretty overpriced here in Singapore, where I live. It was even quite difficult just finding basil. So we're gonna get our pesto ingredients together. 50 grams of basil, two cloves of garlic, one pizzico or pinch of salt and pound, pound, pound for your life in a mortar and pestle. I just got my COVID jab and my left arm hurt, so I can't switch from my right and I just gave up to breathe a couple of times. I slowly added 100 mLs of olive oil as I went. Apparently Julia said I can use a food processor, as most people in Nagoya do these days, but I really wanted to take this opportunity to make use of my mortar and pestle. After everything seemed to be well combined, and your kitchen smells like the freshest herbs from an Italian nonna's garden probably, you can add in the pine nuts and the parmigiano. And when it's all well combined and looks beautiful and pesto-y, set it aside. According to the recipe, it should look like a very thick cream, but I'm not exactly sure whether mine qualifies or not or is perfect enough. Regardless, I thought it looked and tasted pretty damn good. So I cut my potatoes into cubes. I didn't peel them because I wasn't sure. And then cut my green beans into one inch slices, brought my water to a boil and then added salt. After that, the recipe says to add the pasta, green beans, and potatoes all together. It's kind of awesome to think about whether they'll all finish cooking at the same time, but I trust the Italians on this. When the pasta is al dente, I saved a bit of the pasta water, poured the pesto into the bottom of the serving bowl, and added a couple spoonfuls of pasta water to thin it out. Then I added the pasta to the bowl with the pesto. I mixed it up and it was ready to serve. Buon appetito. Now, I wanted to try eating it like Alberto and Luca did in the movie with their hands. Kinda reminds me of how Filipinos like me sometimes eat rice with our hands. And needless to say, it was freaking delicious. The pesto is fragrant, the pasta is perfectly al dente, and the green beans and potatoes added a nice bite to the dish. They were perfectly cooked too with the pasta and weren't too soft or hard. The recipe made a lot of pasta though. I usually eat pesto by itself with pasta, and sometimes with grilled chicken, but from now on, I think I'll be adding some green beans and potatoes to it. Anyway, try this at home. It's easy, simple, and fun. See you guys later. Please like and subscribe. I plan to post more food content on this channel very soon, and I hope you guys like this video.